What is up guys? Welcome back to another uh, video. Uh, so we're here in the newly room, uh, new vivarium room, planted room, whatever you want to call it. Um, still a work in progress, obviously. Um, I just got back four days ago, four days ago from the Tinley Reptile Show, NRBC, I believe is what it's called. But anyway, just got back and I picked up an animal I've been on the hunt for for two years. And I'm so happy that I finally have them. And I'm gonna show them to you guys. Now, before I jump into that, I wanna talk about some other stuff really quick. So, here in the new bigger snake room, which was the old planted room, um, I got the sign finally hung, got that done last night, um, or moved over and hung. Um, so, in my last video, I said I was getting rid of a lot of snakes. I did. I sold about, I don't even know, I want to say a little less than half of my collection of the big stuff that was in all the vision cages. Um, I, all my uh, conditional species um, all went up to uh, the reptarium or uh, actually see Legacy Aquarium, they're going to be new ambassador animals there, so like Blue the Tegu, the Anaconda. Uh, so they're now living up there in Michigan. Um, I gave one of, Pepe never came and picked up the snakes by the way, so he's out of luck. Uh, but I actually gave my uh, Gaboon Viper and Puff Adder to Mario down there at ZWF um, for his new office displays for Venomous. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, I, I got rid of a lot of stuff. As you can see, all the tree vipers are still in totes up here, uh, just temporarily until I get new cages built. Uh, we got a new friend here that is non-venomous and Everglades yellow rat snake, so pretty pumped to have him. He was actually a gift from Steven Brazil, uh, which, you know, you guys did meet a couple months ago. Uh, but as you can see also, too, some of the lights have started to go out in these cages, and I'm going to have to place them, which I never thought would happen being as they are LEDs. So the reptile show was absolutely incredible. I was so blown away with the amount of people that actually knew me for one and two that was so genuine, came up to me, talked to me, took pictures with me, uh, made gifts for, you know, Summer and the kids, which was honestly awesome. Um, it was, it was, it was breathtaking, it really was. Uh, the amount of love shown by you know the reptile community as that being my first Tinley, um, and so much more. So a lot of new friendships made. You know, got to see friends I don't get to see too often. Um, you know, mostly at Animal Con, which is coming up in the beginning of October. Uh, so make sure you guys are gonna get your tickets for that as well. Um, my dream animal, in there again been on the hunt for them for two years um there's actually two i got a pair of them so i'm pretty excited about that uh what else yeah i don't know a lot of, a lot of work in progress to happen here in the planted room um i finally got the mist system starting to go a little bit so like that one's finally hooked up and misting which i'm very happy about still need to do the rest of them Still need to get the lights on this tower here, which I'm actually gonna have this in the middle, and then two more three foot by three foots there. And then behind me on this wall where that rack is, um, I'm gonna do, I want to do custom aquariums. Um, I wanna do like a seven foot by five foot tall by two foot deep paludarium. Um, so I'm shooting more towards doing like multi-species enclosures. So I want to have a couple of different species of like the Trimosaurus, uh, tree viper species in there. Um, and you know, have like dart frogs, some cool tree frogs, um, things that aren't going to just constantly eat each other. Basically, I would love to do in there. Uh, but, uh, or maybe not dart frogs, I stand corrected. I would have it be more of like an Asia thing. So like Asian tree frogs, Asian fish in the paludarium and the water part of it. Uh, maybe some Asian turtles that like stay small. Um, 
stuff like that. I think it'll be really cool. Now, the Asian plants, you know, if, it, if it's going to be like that, um, it's going to be a little more difficult. Um, but I think it'll be really exciting. And if you see this little cool tank, you see that? It's got a built-in light. I actually got this. Um, this company reached out to me. They haven't even launched yet, I believe. Um, and they sent me this tank. This tank, so I built this last night, set this up. I'm going to put some dart frogs in it just temporarily. Um, it's awesome. It is like the first smart enclosure. You know, like smart TVs, smart like that. Okay, yeah. So it's got a time on it. Um, it has a built-in fan, it has sunrise, the middle of the day, sunset, and moonlight. How dope is that? And it's all set on timers. You can have the fan come on every so often, or not at all, or on all the time. Um, it gives you your humidity in the cage, it gives you the temp in the cage, it has built-in heat as well, and it, can ra it slowly raises the heat like during sunrise, it'll raise the heat like up to... I think it's like five degrees more, and then during sunset it will help like lower it down and then keep it, it's so sick. Like this is technology meet enclosure. Um, you know, a few things I would change, plexiglass, I'm not a fan of plexiglass. Definitely would much rather have glass than plexiglass. Um, I do believe I was on their Instagram the other day, which I'll, I'll link it down below. They do have taller ones as well. Obviously, this one's not very tall. I think it's only 12 or 14 inches. Um, but it's really cool. I mean, they're stackable, breathable. Again, fan. Um, yeah, sick. I think it's called the Egama. Egama? I don't know. Egama? Uh, something like that. But super dope enclosure. They're actually sending me another one already. Um, and apparently, it's going to have my name engraved in the back or something, which they told me, like, hey, you know, don't even worry about filming with this thing. But uh, I didn't film setting it up, but I mean, it's a really cool idea. I feel like this could go very far with, you know, planted tanks, but also like desert species. You can do anything in these because you can control so much with just a couple buttons and knobs. And it's, again, digital screen on the front, like crazy, mind blowing, but pretty dope. Um, you know, I wish this company goes far with this uh, design. Um, it, it's it's an awesome enclosure. So I'm gonna link all their stuff down below. Uh, so if you guys want to check them out, you can. Um, I don't know how much they are, so I cannot tell you that. I'm sorry again. I don't even think they're fully launched yet. Uh, they just sent me one to put together and test out. Basically run it through its laps and see how well um, it can deal with uh, me, I guess I should say. Okay, so in the enclosure behind me, you can kind of see one there, right there, are Europlatus sicori, also known as the mossy leaf tail geckos. I have been wanting one of these things for a very long time. Now, these guys are endemic to Madagascar, uh, so they are relatively I'd say they're like a medium species, like they're not for beginners, reptile keepers, but um, they are incredible geckos. They are nocturnal. That is the only downsize uh, to them, but I mean, these things are stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, so I do believe that, uh, you know, I have built a proper enclosure for them. So I actually had built this enclosure a while back for I want to say it was about a year ago for some mossy leaf tail geckos or just any type of leaf tail gecko, but I didn't want the Australian kind. I wanted ones from Madagascar and that's what I got. Uh, so here at the reptile show, believe it or not, uh, I was walking around, I saw some on a table and I was like, no way. So I got to talking to the guy, uh, had even made a joke about, hey, do you guys do discounts for YouTubers if we shout you out? And he was like, yeah. And now mind you, I was, I was totally joking about it when I said it. Um, so, you know, this was Friday, um, when I was talking to him, I go back around Saturday, he had about eight of them on the table and then there was like three left and I was like, wow, I was going to wait to buy them until Sunday. Um, but then I was with, um, my buddy Mark from Vision Cage, Custom Cages, Custom Aquariums. Um, he's my guy. Um, 
he asked, oh, where are you guys from? And they're like, oh, we're from Florida. I was like, oh, no way. I was like, so am I. So then he's like, well, what part of Florida are you guys from? And he goes, West Palm Beach. So am I. Um, so it's pretty funny. He actually, the guy that I bought these from uh, lives about 20 minutes away from me. So not far at all. Um, but I mean, look at that thing. Look how cool that is. Look how it's just sitting there. That's actually the female sitting right there. Uh, the male is... Where's the male? Oh, male's... I don't know if you can see him. He's in the back corner. There, sorry, time to... Right? He's, he's there. He bumped my finger, but you can't see him because it's all blurry. Zoomed in. But anyway, so I'm so pumped to have these guys. Um, I was going to put them in the big paludarium, but I figured I'll start them in something a little bit smaller first. Uh, make sure they're eating, uh, make sure they're, you know, healthy and everything like that. So I am, I'm so stoked to have these, like, two years I've been searching for some. And a lot of people wanted, like, $700 for one. I got the pair for cheaper than that, so I was pretty happy. The, the guys are super cool. They want me to come over to their place. They have a lot of really awesome amphibians and reptiles, so pretty stoked to go over there. Um... Probably film an episode, maybe get some more animals. Um, but it, that kind of brings me back to why. Why did I move everything around um, here in the reptile house? Um, one, I did want to downsize on venomous um, because I had a lot of snakes. Um, you know, you guys didn't even see all of them. You, you saw what I, cho what I chose to show you guys. Um, and it's very time consuming. I mean, it would take me two to three days, depending on, you know, how bad, uh, you know, how dirty it was just to clean everybody two to three days easily. Um, by myself, if I don't have a help on a day, it could take me four days, um, to do deep cleans. Like, you know, I try to do a deep clean every two months or at least every three months, no later than that. That takes me a solid week. And it's not even for the fact that it's time consuming, but it also takes up space in my garbage cans and the garbage men will only take garbage that's in a garbage can. So, um, you know, and then to feed everybody takes me two to three days. You know, that's essentially an entire week of cleaning and feeding. Um, so now uh, I've got it down to where I can pretty much clean and feed um, in two days, two to three days. So. I have sold a significant amount of my snakes. Um, I am still trying to sell a few more. Um, you know, people are like, oh, you should give them to Chandler or give them to this person. No, I'm not giving them away, guys. Like, you gotta understand, I paid the money for a lot of these snakes. Um, I've been raising a lot of these snakes. So if I'm gonna sell them, I'm gonna sell them for at least what I paid for them. Um, like, I'm not trying to make money off these things like that so i know a lot of people will sell snakes for very expensive but um i do love the tree vipers i want to kind of stick a little bit more towards that uh they are for one harder to breed a lot of the species are uh this past year i bred what one two three four i bred five different species of tree vipers which to me is crazy um like the hag and i i bred the hag and i and they uh unfortunately the bugs, the isopods and springtails got to the eggs before I could in the enclosure. Um, so now next year I need to pay more attention and when she does lay her eggs, I need to pull them out immediately so the isopods and springtails don't start eating them. Um, but yeah, so the reason again, I'm going back to this is um, I want to have more stuff on display here than just venomous snakes. I want to have cool geckos. I want to have cool frogs. I want to have, you know, like crush the fly river turtle. Um, I want to have just different things other than just venomous snakes for people to come here and see, uh, possibly hold, uh, learn more about, uh, just kind of things like that. So that's, that's kind of what I'm aiming for, um, in, in the long run. Um, like my rack full of plants, I actually got a greenhouse. I'm going to build uh, hopefully tomorrow, actually, or no, this Sunday. Hopefully I'm gonna build it Sunday, uh, just cause it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. But yeah, so it's a lot of work. Um, again, still in the process of moving all the mist systems over into this room. I gotta finish hooking up lights. Um, 
on like this cage here. I gotta build new racks, I gotta build new enclosures. So it's all, it's a lot of work, but I'm hoping by the end of it, it will be so worth it. Um, especially when I get, hopefully, you know, that big seven foot by five foot tall, by like two foot deep uh, enclosure. Um, I think it'll be just epic and I'm so excited for that enclosure alone because I'm gonna have to literally scape it on the stand like that's not a tank like it was so hard like it was so hard to scape this tank and I had to have summer help me move this tank around uh, to scape it um, and every time I moved it I was like oh my god don't break be careful it's fragile it's glass yes it's very thick glass but like that it's still always in your head where it's like these these tanks are lighter the glass isn't as thick you know, you can move, I can move them around a little easier than, you know, obviously something this big. And this is only four foot by four foot by 20 inches deep. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get this tank here eventually and I'm gonna have to build it in place. And once I build it, it's not moving, but it's gonna be literally half water, half land with the seamless sump uh, system on it, just like I have on Crush, which is an amazing uh, filtration system that uh, custom aquariums does make so really pumped about that um, but I will be back um, at the Tinley show back next October it's literally the weekend after Animal Con um, so I do believe we are going back I will definitely be at Animal Con uh, so if you guys haven't been to Animal Con um, this one's gonna be obviously very special um, you know with the passing of our good friend Brian um, you know, this is going to be the first one without him. It's going to be, it's going to be very hard. Um, I got to speak with Lori, uh, this past weekend at, at the reptile show. And, um, you know, the, I spent all of Saturday night with, with the crew. Um, you know, we were out, you know, having a good time and it, it's hard. It's hard with, with Brian not being there. Um, so, and I, you know, I went pretty quiet after he died because, you know, me and Summer were pretty close with him and it, it hit us hard. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, we gotta move forward. You gotta look positive. So that's what we're trying to do. Um, so I'm gonna get back to it in here, guys. I just wanted to give you guys another update. I know I told you I was gonna film outside to show you guys everything that I have been doing outside. But again, today it has been raining all day um, and tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day so i will get an episode filmed out there for you guys soon um i'm also going to try to revamp my patreon as well um because i have not posted on patreon but i uh i definitely need to to get back on there uh so if you guys want to support you know the zoo that's going to be the best way to do it uh you know on patreon um but again we are a non-profit we run strictly on donations um all of our money goes right back to our animals so if you guys do choose to support us that way or even just sharing our videos anything 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 helps so thank you guys um I, again i know i've been gone for a while had a lot of just self stuff going on so i appreciate all you guys that are still here and still watching and enjoying the updates um, you know, when we film that outside video, I'll uh, get the kiddos on there because I know you guys love to see the kids there. <sighs> Wild air is growing so incredible. Like, I had a video, I posted a video on Instagram. I think I posted it on YouTube Shorts, too. I think it was my first short of Wilder saying hi to the King Cobras. And that went viral. Like, it's already, I think it's at like 75,000 views already. So. Sorry, the camera started to overheat. I forgot that does that. Look at that snake, man. That thing is so stunning. But that's going to be it for this, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the updates and the new animals that I'm so pumped about. Subscribe if you aren't already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like always, take it easy, guys. Bye!